Well, the Nokia 8 Sirocco has been stealing all the limelight. This device from HMD Global might just be my favorite Nokia to come out of MWC 2018. Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech, and stick around to see what we think of the Nokia 7 Plus. Now, before we start, here's a card to our latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving links in the description below. And while you're down there, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. First up, let's look at the build of this device. For the 7 Plus, HMD Global went with Series 6000 aluminium, and to give a premium feel to it, they covered it in six layers of ceramic feeling paint. Overall, the design language, especially with the copper accents, reminds me a lot of the Nokia 6 2018, a device I quite liked in the time I spent with it. Speaking of placements, we have dual Zeiss cameras to the back, along with a dual tone dual LED flash, and the fingerprint scanner right beneath it. Now to the front, we have a 18 by 9 IPS LCD panel. This is the first time that Nokia has fitted out one of its devices with this new aspect ratio. This 6 inch Full HD Plus screen comes with Gorilla Glass. The taller screen with rounded corners means that this one has smaller bezels that kind of amplifies the looks of the device. Internally, we have the Snapdragon 660 running the show with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Now there's also support for microSD. Guys, talking about the 660, we've used it on two phones till date, the Oppo R11 and the Xiaomi Mi Note 3, and both of them performed really well. Now given that this has the same 660, but it is also an Android 1 phone, meaning it runs on stock Android, the performance should be even better. Talking about Android 1, Nokia under HMD Global has been really good with software updates and security patches. And now that this is an Android 1 phone, all that should get even better. So next, let's talk cameras. The primary camera on the 7 Plus is a 12 megapixel unit with 1.4 micron test pixels and an f1.7 aperture. The secondary unit is 13 megapixels, 1 micron size pixels with a smaller f2.6 aperture. This is a telephoto lens, so you can you get kind of get optical zoom without any loss of quality. This is a similar implementation to what we've seen on the Nokia 8 Sirocco, at least on paper. Now coming over to the software side of things, we have a dedicated Pro mode. The interface as well as the Zeiss branding on the lens reminds me of the good old days of Lumia phones. To the front, we have a whopping 16 megapixel camera, again with Zeiss optics. I'm quite excited to try these cameras out when we do get our hands on a review unit. So that's basically it for the hands-on part of it. Let's now get to the price. And here's where things kind of get interesting. The 7 Plus slots in at 399 euros. Now, why am I talking euros and not rupees or even dollars? Well, that's because we only have the European pricing for now. To give you a relative idea, the OnePlus 5T is priced at 499 euros, so this phone should come in well below that. So if it were to launch in India, we could realistically expect it to launch around the 25,000 rupee mark. So of the five Nokia phones that HMD Global launched at MWC, this is probably the most competitively priced one. And I for one hope it makes its way over to India really soon. If it does end up in India for around 25,000 rupees, would you be interested in picking it up? Let me know all about it in the comments below. By the way, once we get more information on pricing and availability, we will let you know via Twitter. So if you haven't followed us on Twitter yet, you can do that. You can find us at c 4 Tech. So that's it for this video. If you hated it, you know what to do. But if you did like it, then drop us a giant like, subscribe to c 4 Tech. Also click that bell icon to become part of the c 4 e family. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching c 4 Tech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day.